nature has created humans to have two legs. Why limit it there? <laughs> I originally come from a biomechanics field. The projects have focused on supporting people with mobility, disabilities, and how humans locomote. The question that always came up was, if we're gonna build robotic solutions that support human motion, should we actually explore other ways? Naturally, wheels came up. Instead of walking, you can roll around. The biggest challenges that we had on the engineering side for the wheels was to make sure we can actually walk stairs and walk over obstacles. The robot has a number of sensors placed all around its body. What we achieve by using wheels is we minimize the number of actuators in the lower limbs, minimize the amount of motion of the lower limbs. The, the wheels, they consume uh, relatively little power. It extends our battery lifetimes. The other thing is also the speed uh, and agility. So we can very simply turn on the spot without having any additional joints or actuators in the robot, uh, but we can also cover large areas very effectively. Looking back over the last two years, I think the most exciting was to really see how it went from uh, barely being able to balance on two wheels to now being able to balance, walk over steps, um, while at the same time also manipulating objects in their hands. When we got rid of all the safety mechanisms like the ropes, of the robot driving around in space, uh, quite quickly actually. That's where we really, really had a, a wow moment. Introduce yourself. My name is Eon. It's great to be here. I think it's this argument that uh, since we don't have any wheels attached to our body directly, that at the very beginning it's a steep learning curve. When we were kids, uh, we we're, were trying to ride bicycles, uh, rollerblades and so on. And in the very beginning, it's often associated with falling over. But over time, we see that even humans master wheels very well. It makes sense that in our development decisions we follow the human form. We should also not forget that we have here a freedom to innovate and a freedom to develop in a, in a completely opposite direction or in a completely wild direction. Uh, and I think our decision to go with wheels is exactly taking us in that direction.